I teach an advanced script writing class. And one of the things that I like so much about teaching writing is helping people see their story come to life and sort of being that sounding board for them, um, talking about the elements of writing, the structure of writing, the elements of genre, and sort of giving them information that they may not have had before. I really, really love sharing. How did Beyond Ordinary Sex come about? A lot of people ask me about that book. In order to um, keep myself in school, I took an apartment managing job, and one of my residents, I found out, was a call girl. And needless to say, that intrigued me quite a bit, not only as a woman, but also as a writer. I sort of smelled the story, so to speak. And so I befriended her, and um, I told her what I was up to. I was very upfront and let her know that I would love to write her story. And um, uh, we made an agreement, of course, that I would keep her anonymous. And, um, and so that's where the journey began. So I began uh, my academic advancement and I had this very unusual dichotomy going on. Um, they took me into strip clubs and <laughs> Some of their customers and some of the people surrounding them knew what was going on, but for the most part, um, most of them didn't know. And um, so that's what made the story authentic, is that I was able to follow them around and even go to Las Vegas with them on occasion and to New York with them on occasion and uh, really uh, immerse myself into this story and find out what that life was really all about. You know, I, I've actually sold books, which is surprising because there was absolutely no marketing whatsoever. And the reason is um, I didn't want to become known as the person who just wrote, you know, a sexy book. I think there's a lot more to me than just that.